Hi everyone, um, I'm going to do a quick video here showing you how to tune the rotor on these uh, FX magazine. It's the same for the, um, they're all the same on these, on these where the, the top comes off, yeah? So I've, I've sabotaged this one for the demo, yeah? So if you look at this one now, when I wind it back, there's not a tension in it to uh, push the rotor around, never mind the um, uh, full of pellets, yeah? So um, now this can happen if you've um, had the um, loaded like that and left it for weeks or months with all full of pellets, because there's, there's, there's a pr spring in here that um, sends it round. So you can see it's really weak at the moment. But I've set that up on purpose. So all you need to do is uh, get this bolt out, two two little ball bearings and two little springs that create this uh, click for you. Get those out of the way, uh, then lift this off, and uh, what will you'll see this ha how the springs works in a moment. Before you start, put uh, a piece of um, sellotape on the back so the little and O-ring don't fall out. So, right, so let's do it. So, whiz him off. And it's a bit stiff because of the um, bit stiff because of the uh, O-ring. Sometimes you have to jiggle him out a little bit, but uh, he should be out now. Let's get it. Yeah, go it. Okay, so there's the uh, the uh, little the little stainless steel sh uh, shoulder bolt here. And that little shoulder is what tightens down onto the um, plastic uh, top there. So we'll just get the ball bearings out. There you go. I'm just going to get the springs out as well. Put those out the way. Little tiny springs. Yeah, see that? One. Two. Right. Now I'm going to get a little hook. This Sometimes these spring out on their own if you've got a load of tension in them. But this one won't because there's hardly any in it. But I use a little hook tool to pull it out. And I'll show you how the spring works. So basically, you can see the four holes in the bottom of there. Uh, the bottom of the spring has a little peg, little little leg that sticks into one of those holes, so you can have that in four different positions. And then the other end of the spring has this little, uh, um, if you can see that thing that sticks out the side, and that goes in a little hole that's lined up on the um, lines up with the um, your probe stopper. So that's back in now. Now all you need to do to to get um, a, a nice bit of tension back into your uh, rotor is pick any one really. I, I tend to pick the bottom one. Uh, the six o'clock um, hole. Put the um, train. Sometimes it's a bit of a fiddle. Sometimes they're going quickly. Uh, so, oops, come out the top as well now. <laughs> so uh, typical, isn't it? Did it perfectly the first time. All right. So, there we go. So that's back in there. Put him on the bottom one. In the bottom hole. There he That's it. Is in there. So that's on now. Okay. Now all you need to do is lift the um, stopper over the well, lift the, the pellet probe stopper over the uh, rotor stopper and drop him in. So he's gone round now. So that's a little bit more tension, but it's not enough. So we're going to go around. Whoop, we're going to go around again. One more, and that should be enough, hopefully. Then. So carefully lift him over so that the springs don't pop out. And now try him. Oh yeah, look at that. That's good. So you know that will work beautifully. So all we need to do now is hold him down, get the springs back in. One, two. There, there we go. Ball bearing on there. This can get a bit fiddly, as if you knock the ball bearings with the screw, they'll fall off. Um, I tend to put this uh, microfiber down to stop the ball bearings rolling off the table. So then we can go for the. Uh, the shoulder bolt and what I tend to do is poke it all down hold it in place and then uh, snug the uh, shoulder bolt back up like that now you, in theory you should be able to torque that shoulder bolt up because it, fit, it tightens up onto the plastic um, but if you tighten it too far you find it might bind on your um, rotor so I like to go far enough so that it's not binding but it's really it's really stiff and that's it that's how you get your tension back in if your spring has lost some lost some spring tension because you've left it loaded or whatever reason. Now the reason what mine did actually do this, but it wasn't because I left it loaded. It was just through thousands and thousands of pellets use that have been through this rotor, that have been through this magazine, and in mine got to the stage where it was the last two or three pellets. Sometimes it jammed there, jammed on the last one, and it wasn't coming round. So uh, I thought, okay, so I'll just put a bit of tension on, bish bash bosh brand new, it's like working like a brand new rotor again. Okay, let me know if you like this.